Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. We talk every Saturday morning for 90 minutes on our flagship station right here in Memphis on ESPN AM 790, 92.9 HD FM. And it's for Saturday. That means that Bill Cooksey of Vanishing Paradise uh, is in with us, and Ron Wall, Bill's on the line from Jackson, Tennessee, and and of course Ron is in studio. And uh, for our next guest, I want you to know, uh, Bruce, without knowing, uh, Ron Wong and myself wore the same shirt <laughs> this morning. Uh, so I'm not thanks to hook fishing. Thanks to hook fishing, so we're yeah. um, almost a matching pair here. So uh, oh, good, good. Well, Bruce Aiken, retiring CEO. For BASS. How's that sound, Bruce? Do you like that introduction? I, I like the ring of that, man. And uh, <laughs> you know, I, I sometimes call it, uh, used to call it pre-tirement. Yes. Uh, before this gig, you know. I, yes. I'm too yeah. young to retire. That's ex- right. So, yes. Uh, but but tired enough, I think we, we've uh, talked about that. I but, think we uh, talked, Bruce, you were thinking about it last year, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, yeah. the pandemic came along. Uh, talk about the decision and talk about, man, I mean, so many things have happened in the last decade that you've, uh, your finger has been part of that touch uh, that's come along with all the uh, events and uh, you've introduced uh, junior high school kayak tournaments and things, uh, revived the Redfish uh, Cup Championship. So uh, talk about this this decade as the CEO. Well, in many ways, it, it doesn't seem like 10 years. Some days it, it, it feels like a year or two, and some days it feels like it's been 20 years. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and right. at points along the way, like last year, uh, you yes. know, with the pandemic and all. And, yeah, I had uh, you know, the plan was that I would retire at the end of last year, at the end of September, that's our fiscal year. Right. And, um, and then when the pandemic came along and you were, we were rescheduling events and didn't even know if we'd get the season in and then uh, we uh, talked and agreed you know i'd stay on another year to help us get through that and, and lead us through that and you know really glad i did but like like we said it, it seems like uh more than a year uh, with everything we've, we've been going through but it's, it's turned out well and i think we're in a good place now um even with the you know delta variant who knows what's going to go on but uh but you know feel like the the company's in a good place and and uh, uh good momentum and, and time to hand the reins over to the chairman let the uh, chairman chase, come in yeah, yeah chase That's anderson right. yes. you know you've yeah. done a marvelous job bruce uh you know and that shows in the last uh bassmaster classic that was held in fort worth <laughs> yes uh, there was a date changed from February to June, and uh, all kinds of records were broken. Uh, the a- attendance was, I think, the second largest ever for That's a right. Bassmaster Classic, uh, uh, the Super Bowl of bass fishing. And, uh, uh, you know, I know you had your hands uh, in that a lot. And what does it mean to you, Bruce, to be able to to keep the Super Bowl of bass fishing the most top-rated. Uh, Two million viewers. Yeah. Two um, million viewers on the Fox at, broadcast. At the very top of bass yes. fishing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're very proud of that and, and, and really pleased and, and, and in many ways fortunate that we got the, the classic in this, this year. Yes. Uh, you know, it's usually it's been in February and, and March for years. Um, and, um, you know, we did, we did slide it in there. I, I would say we had another ba- backup date that was, uh, next week and, uh, I'm glad we, you know, got it in in June because, you know, what we're, you know, still facing in the country and, uh, it, it, you know, it just wasn't hot enough in, <laughs> in, in March to have it. <laughs> yes. So we, yes. We were going to put it off a little bit. It had nothing to do with the a pandemic, uh, of course, just kidding. But uh, and you know, you you flash back a year or two, 
uh, the 50th Classic was in Birmingham. It was right uh, before. Like March yes. 6th, the 8th. If yeah. it had been the next week, we wouldn't have had it. That's right. Uh, yeah, know, who, who was happened. that guy that won this year's Classic? His name sounds familiar. <laughs> I can't remember. Only yeah. a two-time Only winner. Only two-time back winner. Back-to-back. Yeah, back. One, one last time. Yeah, yes. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know if he's back-to-back. Back. That's pretty amazing Thanks, for Hank Jerry. Cherry, yeah. yes, yeah. to do that. And we were able to get Hank on right after that and previous years Good. your guys have been so cooperative on this show for over yeah. these all these years yeah. of the yeah. guests yeah. and everything and i think uh, uh you guys uh know how to, to do the media because that's become so important right Bruce? pr I mean, media yeah is yeah big and, and the 10 years that you've been there yeah. uh, i know you can see the advancements in getting the news out yeah, and then I think, you know, Dave Preck did a good job of that Yes, uh, mm-hmm. early on. And then when he retired, uh, Emily has Came been right fantastic. Along. Yes, yeah. Uh, and, you know, picked it up and, has, you know, made it even bigger. Uh, you know, we were talking about the, you know, the impacts of, of classics. Of course, one of the big things is the economic impact. Oh, course. yeah. Yes. I think three straight years now, it's been uh, over $30 million wow. economic <laughs> impact uh, just the week of the classic, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. not the yeah. lasting, enduring impact either. And But, uh, but you know, it's been fun. My, my first classic was in Shreveport, uh, Louisiana, Ooh, uh, yes. in 2012, I guess. Okay. I yeah. Uh-huh. August of 11. And, uh, uh, again, that seems like yesterday. It does. Uh, of course, yeah. I didn't know what I was doing. I had never been to a classic. I, I think it's Amazing. pretty well known that I, <laughs> I didn't fish before I uh, uh, started this job. And I'd lived in Birmingham since 1980. And, and uh, you know, all the times the classic had been here, I'd never been and my brother always wanted me to go, and I'm like, well, why would Amazing. I want to go watch a bunch of people, you know, weigh fish, and then, and now I know. Yeah. And now you know. Well, <laughs> you I know, know it's why. It's pretty exciting. I, yeah. I think I know why, Bruce. You're involved in too many organizations here. You you can't say no. I'm looking at all these yeah, yeah. all these things you've been involved with. But uh, right. he's hey guys, he's on the boot. How about the part of the board of super? Advisor for the University of Alabama. I just wonder, uh, College of Communications. Do you talk to Nick Saban all the time? Is that what I've heard? Uh, uh, not, not all the time, but I send him money. Oh, uh, there you go. <laughs> okay. All right. but, uh, Bruce, uh, Bruce, this is Bill, and I want to to talk for a second, of not about fish or fishermen or even you know the finances and success, but one thing I've noticed uh, the last several days is. My friends who are Bass employees have been all over social media, yeah. basically paying tribute to you. And, and yeah. when you said you didn't fish, and you told me that at ICAST one time, before, really yeah. before you know coming to Bass, uh-huh. your management style, you need to write a book. Yes, you do. Because yeah. it works <laughs> for the business Absolutely. and the people who work for yeah. Yes. I, I, I may need to go uh, get on social media because I haven't seen all that. <laughs> well, you need to do. Let it, me, it is yeah. really yeah, you could let, heartfelt. Let, yeah, let Brasher uh, write your book. I think he could do yeah. that. So, uh, yeah. Well, he's a good writer. I could yes, he that. is. And, and he's a good Alabama fan with me. So yeah, big cool. time. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I, I haven't found you in an Alabama hat yet, so I'll run a picture of you. So I'm still yeah. looking okay. Yeah. But, uh, no, Bill brings up an interesting thing there, Bruce. Uh uh, so where, yeah. where, when you started and how much uh, you've been able to blend your touch of management, a lot of folks, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm not saying a lot of folks might not have known what was coming up when Bruce Aiken took over 10 years ago. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't either. So, well, that's uh, what I'm saying. You're a man <laughs> of, uh, you speak what you believe. And, and yeah. as he said, Undoubtedly, you've touched a lot of lives, Bruce. I'm not just trying to blow smoke here, but uh, uh, I appreciate it. And uh, you know, I've, I've I enjoy the people in the industry. That's you know, I think uh, the biggest thing that I'll miss, and I'm going to try to stay involved. You know, I'm on the ASA board now. Yes. And, mm-hmm. uh, hopefully, uh, get at least one more boondog. Allow that. Uh, down in Naples, I think, in October. I but, think they uh, will, Bruce. But, okay. you know, but I enjoyed, uh, you know, I've enjoyed the, just the people uh, like yourselves and everybody I've encountered, most everybody. Yes. Maybe <laughs> three or four I could name. Them. Oh, wow. <laughs> three or four. Hear that, Bill Cooks? <laughs> three or four. I'd, I'd yeah. win. That's, that's but, a uh, small number, that's too. A, yeah. 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 But we, you know, just, uh, you know, everybody from, you know, Bill Dance and, 
you know, Jimmy Houston and yes, to yeah. the younger guys that coming along out of college and that are fishing high school. I, I ran into a, a kid who's middle school, I think, fishes our youth program, uh-huh. and his dad uh, at ICAST, um, they're from Chicago. Yeah. And and I saw him last year, then I saw him again, or a year before last. Yes. We didn't uh-huh. have it last year. Yeah. And then again this year, and, uh, you know, got a picture made with the kid and all, and, and, and uh, you know, it's just fun watching that. I Isn't mean, it this is a yeah. kid, and it's father, you know, taking interest, and yes. he, 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 he fished in – you know, our, our uh, middle school youth world championship and Amazing. that kind of thing. And that's what's fun, too, is watching these young people come along. I mean, there's the uh, kid from Birmingham, Briarwood High School team who won three straight national championships mm-hmm. uh, at Briarwood. Yes. And then yeah. he's, he's part of the team of the year. At that other school down the oh, down the road. Oh, in, that in other school. Uh, oh, yeah, you said it, uh, Bruce. You said yeah. it. We almost got yeah. through the whole yeah. show with you. you saying that other school. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, doing a great job. Yeah. And, you know, they've got a great program, uh, college program at Auburn. So, you know, watching that. And now my grand grandsons go to school at Briarwood. And oh, they, okay. Uh, they, yeah. They get thrilled when they got to. Uh, you know, meet the uh, high school championships, and I think they had a parade and all that. A parade. And, uh, well, they're not. And, uh, they're not uh, having a parade for you, are they? I mean, I, I want to. Uh, I don't think they so. should. If, if they did, I missed it. So okay, <laughs> yeah. but uh, well, we got to get out. We're out of time. Bruce Aiken. Okay. Uh, yeah. Congratulations again. Uh, we'll stay in touch. Uh, yeah. But thank you for uh, your service for BASS, and as Bill said, uh, uh, kind regards and. Uh, Thank you for the help that you provided over the years. Always been accessible. And that's one yep. of the good things. Buddy. Thank you for everything. Yeah. Thank you, Bruce. We we'll, we'll, we'll appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Larry, Ron, Bill. Thank, take care. We'll stay in touch. All right, let's take a break. We'll be right back on Outdoors of Larry. Ryan. 